Hello all, welcome to part 29 of STNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to name a data provider method using name attribute. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of the previous session. So here, I in the previous session, I explained and demonstrated about testng parameterization using at the rate data provider annotation and data provider attribute. Now in this current session, okay, I'm going to name this, okay, I'm going to name this data provider method which is provided with at the rate data provider annotation using name attribute. In the previous session, I have not done that. This current session, I'm going to do that, guys. It's a very simple session, guys. Simple practical demonstration is there. I'll quickly open up the code which I have demonstrated in the previous session where we have a data provider method which is going to supply the multiple sets of data to this test method because they are connected with this at the rate data provider annotation. The method that is going to supply the data is provided with the at the rate data provider annotation and the method, test method that is going to receive the data from this data provider method is provided with this attribute known as data provider attribute and and uh, it is provided with the name of the method, okay? It is provided with the name of the method. That is data supplier here, okay? The attribute value is nothing but the name of the method. But what if, but what if you want to have a different name other than the method name, okay? For this data provider, for this data provider method name, you don't want to provide the data provider method name here. You want to define your own data provider name and that name you want to supply to the data provider annotation here. In that case, we have to use an attribute known as name attribute. Provide circular brackets uh, beside this uh, at the rate data provider annotation and say name is equal to, okay, some get data. I'm just naming this as get test data otherwise, okay? Name, name is equal to get test data. Now, here we can either use the name of the method, name of the method, or we can now provide the name of the data provider. That is, instead of giving the name of the data provider method, we are going to give the name of the data provider itself, which I have given using the name attribute of the data provider annotation. Just directly give that here. Data provider is equal to get test data. Fine. Now let's see whether this particular thing, after naming this data provider with a different name other than the method name, and if I pass that uh, data provider name as a value to this data provider annotation, Will this script work in the same fashion as I have demonstrated in the previous session? Whether this test will run three times for three sets of data or not? Okay, let's see that in action now. Let's click on run all here, or you can click on run also because only one test is there. You should get the same result, guys. Uh, same test method should be executed three times because three sets of data is being passed by the data provider method, which is now named with a different name, and that name is provided to the data provider annotation, guys. Okay, it's working fine. As you can see here, one of the tests, uh, one time the test got executed, the same test is now getting executed second time. Now the same test will be executed third time. Okay, for the third time also it got executed and everything got passed. Okay, and you can see the results also here. Verify login, verify login, same test method got executed three times and uh, with the different sets of data guys, okay? Fine. So after naming this data provider with the name attribute, and if I provide that data provider name as a value to the data provider attribute rather than providing the name of the method, it is still working fine, okay? So this is a better way of doing the stuff, guys, okay? You better provide the name to the data provider and then provide that name of the data provider to the data provider attribute of the at the rate test method. So hope, guys, you understood how to name a data provider method using the name attribute in TestNG. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.